I want to share with you today a couple of uh, stats that I find quite disturbing having to do with the American Democratic Party, so-called. As you know, the Democratic Party isn't. But the Gallup polling people took a poll in February of 2013, and they asked, do you support Israel or the Palestinians? Israel or the Palestinians? And in 2013, the Democrats had 19% of them said they supported the Palestinians. And 55% of Democrats said they supported Israel, right, and the Israelis. Then in February of 2023, that's earlier this year, Gallup poll asked the same question again of Democrats again. And this time, 49% of Democrats said they favored the Palestinians. Again, 10 years earlier, 19% favored the Palestinians. This year, 49% of Democrats, nearly half, for Democrats following along, support the Palestinians. And now only 38% of Democrats support, favor Israel and the Israelis. Earlier this year, before the recent troglodyte attack of butchery and savagery, but Democrat support for Israel went from 55% support, which isn't enough 10 years ago, down to 38% now. And their support for Palestinians went from 19% 10 years ago to 49% now. This is the party of Rashida Tlaib, Democrat member of the House of Representatives, with a six-foot Palestinian flag outside of her congressional office in her congressional office building because she is not on our side. We've got these animals out on the street of New York uh, chanting nastiness about the Israelis and cheering on the Palestinians after they knew that they had butchered women and children and everybody else in a surprise attack on Israel, which is genocidal. And the Democrat Socialists of America, which is Bernie Sanders' political party, are the ones that put these anti-Israel, pro-Hamas street rallies together. This is the mainstream of the Democrat Party in 2023. There's an election next year. I assume that you will vote accordingly.